All right, guys, I have another little mini rant that I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to pass this on. I was trying to decide if I was going to do this video. I just did the rant about my experience in Subway and horrible customer service. And, hey, I'm going to share. So, a little backstory here. Uh, UPS store. I've been a customer of the UPS store for years. I've had boxes where I get packages, I ship stuff, uh, probably for the last four years. And uh, no issues, really good customer service. Um, I, I have an online business, I print out postage, I mail stuff all the time. Never had an issue. So uh, this that was in Cartersville, Georgia. It was in um, Florence, South Carolina. No problem. I come to Florence, Kentucky. There must be something in the water here. And the people at Subway and the UPS store are drinking the same freaking water because I have had several incidences where I go in and to get my mail, pick up packages, and then I'll have a little bag, little plastic bag, where I'll have uh, small padded envelopes of stuff that I'm shipping off. It's all self-addressed, postage paid, everything, and it's going post office. I know it's the UPS store, but they deal with the post office. You can ship a variety of ways. It's on their website. I've even talked to corporate customer service. They do the U.S. Postal Service, even though the U.S. Postal Service sucks as well. If you work there, I'm not talking about you. It's the government. So, I've had one woman in uh, at the UPS store that refuses to accept my post office packages. I go in there, and she said, oh, we, don't, we don't accept uh, post office items. They actually have a box sitting right there at the counter that says U.S. Postal Service, and it has a slot you can put your stuff in. Well, I have a decent amount, and some of them won't fit through that slot. I have used that slot before. So, most of the people in there, I just hand them the bag. They say, yep, we'll, we'll get it sent out. And they have a box over behind there that they put U.S. Postal Service items in. And when the post office comes, because I get mail there from the post office, they pick up the stuff that's in the box. Now, again, never had a problem except with this one woman. Of course, that's who I get today. I'm going to call her Karen. I get Karen, I get my packages, and I have the bag. I said, oh, and I was super pleasant. I said, oh, by the way, I have these uh, post office uh, packages that are already addressed and postage paid and everything. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry, we don't accept post office. I said, I I I've done it many times here before. And she says, uh, no, you haven't. And I and she, we don't accept those. I said, no, you don't accept those. And and she said, well, you can talk to the manager right here. And the manager looks at me and says, no, nah, we we don't accept that. And I said, I said, I've handed you packages and you took them. <laughs> She's sitting there just back at her employee. I've handed the manager packages. I've handed every single person in that UPS store post office packages, and they shipped them out. So, again, I'd called corporate UPS before. I'm not wasting my time now. But I've called them before, and the woman on the phone's like, they should be accepting your packages. I don't know what their problem is, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's ridiculous. And, and this is just so common nowadays. Uh, far too infrequently do we have superior customer service. How about just people being nice to each other and accommodating? You know, as if there's a reason not to be, but they do. Like I said, they have a box right in the frickin' front lobby with a small slot for letters, 
And when I was in Florence, South Carolina, you know, I'd, I'd come in there all the time. They take it no problem. When I was in Georgia, they took them no problem. So, Florence, UPS, they suck. I'll just leave it at that. Now, in the whole scheme of things, with everything that's going on in the world, this is really not that big a deal. It's just a... It's nothing, really. But I thought I'd share. Maybe get you'll get a couple of laughs over my frustration over something. That's really pretty small. So... I'm not really going to worry about it. I got worked up a little bit. Uh, they probably not going to want me to come back in there again, but I have a box. I'm paid for through another three months. I'm going to go in and get my mail. And, uh, and it'll be the last three months that I utilize that location. And that's it. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you think this is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, hit that like button. If you got a kick out of it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. But above all, stay safe. We'll see you next time. See you.